She was miles away, but still was able to go number one in one country and another country and another country. Here's some fun information about Madonna Miles Away. Hi, my name is James Rodriguez. I actually interview all sorts of producers and songwriters, including those who've worked with Madonna. You can find my show on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. But what I like doing is on these different socials is sharing all the facts about these great songs. Now, Madonna Miles Away, we're celebrating 15 years of the Hard Candy album being released, but the song went number one in Spain. It also went number one in the U.S. on the dance show Airplay, and it did that for two weeks. Then it went number one on the dance single sales. But here's what's more amazing. I go through all sorts of fun iTunes archives and everything. And just in December of 2022, Miles Away, the EP with all those remixes, went number one in Bulgaria on the pop album charts. That's right. This song, with these remixes, was still able to go number one, even as a whole album. So it was competing on that album charts with albums that were just released that week, that month, that year. That is the iconography of Madonna, being able to really make music that is loved by many across countries and over decades. So I want to ask you this. When was the first time you heard Miles Away? Let me know and follow me for more. You could join me on Patreon to support the show. But when was the first time you heard it? And are you going to the Celebration Tour? My name is James Rodriguez. I will see you on the flip side.